What's up guys, welcome back to another in depth car specs. Welcome back to another in depth car specs. Today we're going to be changing our front brakes on my 2019 STI. Uh, letting you guys know, as of 2021, uh, I can't find the brakes on uh, any local auto parts, so I did buy them on Rally Sport Direct. These are Faction Fab Performance Brake Pads. The ones that I bought at the AutoZone, uh, they were kind of small, so they, they didn't fit. Well, they kind of fit, it's just small. And they didn't have the same curvature, so I was like debating either to install them or not. So I went and I, uh, I returned them and then got them online these faction fabs so we're gonna do those today only the front ones not the rear i'm gonna show you just one side because it's the same thing on both sides so it's gonna be a quick video for you guys so yeah hopefully you enjoy that all right guys so what you guys want to do is you're gonna take off these pins that are located on the side of the uh, rotor and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little rubber mallet or hammer whatever you're gonna smash it or you're gonna hit it hit the pins a little bit just just enough that the other side will poke the reason why I'm doing this brake uh, change is because my brakes are super squeaky right now and I took it to a brake shop to get them checked and they said I have to change my my rotors my uh, disc rotors but I don't believe it so I'm gonna do the brakes I know it's been a while and then once you take off that pin, you're going to grab your little, uh, I put some double-sided tape so I won't scratch it or anything. And you're going to yank it outward. These are the pins and these are how they look. So, the, so these are the pins right here. There are actually two of those. Just like those. And now, and then this, of course, this bracket that holds the brakes in. Now what you want to do is you're going to take off this uh, screw, this middle screw here. So you guys can see right there. I'm gonna take off that middle screw. Also, this middle screw is a uh, 13 millimeter, so letting you guys know. Once you finish with that 13 millimeter bolt, you're gonna pull it out, pull a little uh, pin. It's like a pin slash bolt. So the bolt comes in in the uh, pin, as you guys can see right there. Here, I'm gonna give you guys a quick idea of what you have to do you get your little crowbar or whatever you guys got laying around Let's see if I could uh, get a better angle for you guys so you get your crowbar and what you're gonna do is you get the uh, brake pad and your disc you're gonna push outward to get a little bit of that gap going and once you do that you're gonna pull your brake pad out these are actually not bad. They still got some life in it. They got some life in it. The other one on the other side had some life as well. The only thing that I noticed, it was a little scuffed on the edges. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that scuff there? That was probably eating the outside of it. That's why it has like a little lip on the outside of the disc. A little lip. Check out these, uh, these Faction Auto brakes. Look how much meat that she has. Has food. Food for days. I mean they're brand new. Look at that. Compare that to the old ones. So once you start putting in your brake pads, if they don't go in, since these are six piston um, brakes, you're gonna want your little crowbar and then what you're gonna do is try to level out each piston to the same height for the, the uh, the brake pads come in nicely right now see they're super loose so it's all good now we're gonna start by putting the big screw back on which was the uh, pin with the uh, screw so I, I put the uh, middle screw in and then the little brackets I haven't tied up anything yet but um what I noticed is these faction auto uh, I don't know what this called but it's the uh, little metal shield or whatever that holds everything in place it's a little bit longer but I think this might have shrunk because of the heat but they, they fit good so they're good put the clip on it's pretty easy you just push down and then put the clip or put the pin across and it's good I'm gonna start tightening a 13 millimeter bolt 
and then we'll do the uh, pens we'll push them in at the end and just like that this side is done also then you guys know that 13 millimeter bolt you don't have to tighten it too much as much as uh, you can with one wrist you'll be good it wasn't even that tight when I took it off so and these have never been replaced these been the originals from factory but this is my first time doing uh, brakes on my car and yeah this is uh what I have for you guys for today I'm gonna go do the other side but I'm not showing you because it's the same thing so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy that please leave a like subscribe and until next time peace guys